I've got some news that I'm going to share with you on the storm, Milton. I suggest that you listen very closely to what this man has to say. He is right. He is correct. I'll tell you what the news isn't going to tell you about Hurricane Milton. The water on the Gulf Coast of Florida. The closer you get to Florida, the warmer the water is. So the wind shear that they're telling you is going to uh, cause the storm to lose strength. It's not. The warm water along Florida's coastline is going to intensify the storm right as it makes landfall. Furthermore, once this storm crosses over the state of Florida and it is introduced into the Atlantic Ocean, the water on Florida's east coast in the Atlantic is significantly warmer than that of the Gulf currently. And when it is introduced into this warmer water on the Atlantic side, it's going to re-intensify. And for those of y'all that do not know, warm water to a hurricane is like pulling into a circle K when your gas lights up. It is going to give strength to this storm, a storm that is already a cat fire. This storm is a huge storm. It's wide, it's big, it's strong, it's powerful. It is going to cause tremendous damage. Tremendous damage in places that are not prepared for this storm. Which is the main reason I'm making this video. Because there are numerous other places that need to prepare that are going to be caught off guard because no one is telling them to prepare. This storm, once it crosses over Florida, is going to be introduced in the warmer water, which is going to make it re-intensify. And as it introduces itself to this warmer water, it is also going to be introduced into the Gulf Stream. For those of you that don't know about the Gulf Stream, it's a warm current that flows north out of the Caribbean along the eastern seaboard of the United States. And it flows north until it meets a southerly current at about Ocracoke, North Carolina. When this storm touches the Gulf Stream and it's extremely warm water, it is going to make a rapid turn north. And when it does, the storm is so big and the Gulf Stream is so close to our eastern seaboard that it is going to rip, a plate, rip apart places like Savannah, Georgia, Charleston, South Carolina, and places of my home, North Carolina. 